Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors you forgot were in horror movies. I want to start on the ground floor and work our way up, all right? Most people do, actually. I mean, like to be scared. It's uh, something primal, something basic. Josh, this is a series. Hey, Oliver, mm. this is a movie. Yeah, low budget movie. For this list, we'll be looking at actors who appeared in scary stories relatively early in their film career before successfully breaking out into other genres. Since we're going to be delving into major plot points here, a spoiler alert is now in effect. Know of any spooky roles we missed? Sound off in the comments. Number 10. Johnny Depp – A Nightmare on Elm Street when it comes to Johnny Depp and horror, the first title that probably springs to mind for many is 1990's Edward Scissorhands. But of course, he actually made his big feature debut in A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh man. Midnight. Baseball bats and boogeyman. Beautiful. Johnny Depp's Glenn met his end in gruesome fashion after sinking into a bed during a Freddy Krueger induced nightmare. His demise isn't just an iconic scene from the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, but one of the most definitive images in the horror genre. Of course, it doesn't hurt that Depp delivered a solid performance. Look, we have reason to believe that there might be something very strange going on here. Unfortunately, his acting skills couldn't save him from becoming just another victim of the Dream Demon. What's going on? Hey, hey, I'm not doing this. Run! I'm not doing what's it. going on with the window? Number 9. Tom Hanks – He Knows You're Alone In the 1980s, Tom Hanks wasn't the same superstar we know today. After appearing in a few TV shows, he made his feature film debut in a supporting role for He Knows You're Alone. Stretched out an extra foot to make sure I'd trip you. <laughs> Why'd you do that? That would seem the best way to meet you. <laughs> My name's Elliot. The slasher film is centred on a woman who's being stalked in the lead-up to her wedding day. Hanks' character, psychology student Elliot, only had a couple of scenes. He doesn't even receive an elaborate on-screen demise. Hanks just sort of disappears from the movie without any explanation. And you can face death without any real fear of dying. It's safe. You can leave the movie or get off the ride with a vicarious thrill and the feeling that you just conquered death, one hell of a first-class rush. According to the Aniston Star newspaper, this was due to the creative team liking Hanks too much to film anything terrible happening to him. That choice helped make this role disappear from society's collective memory. Say, so have you got a dime? How far? I want to call my roommate and have him vacate the premises. Why? Well, I thought we'd play a game of backgammon. Number 8. Misha Barton – The Sixth Sense I'm feeling much better now. Do you want to tell me something? While some actors appear in horror movies early on in their career while looking for their big break, other times it's a case of future stars working as child performers. Misha Barton, best known for The O.C., was in that latter category. She delivers a small but memorable performance as a ghost in M. Night Shyamalan's smash hit, The Sixth Sense. <laughs> the physicality required by Barton was striking. After she initially terrifies Cole with her sudden appearance, he makes the tragic connection to the poison that caused her demise. Can I go outside and eat this? I don't know, you know how you get sick in the afternoons. We'll see. Barton's performance is bittersweet and genuinely affecting as Kira Collins. But since her role is relatively small, audiences may not remember the actress underneath the tragedy. Number 7. Idris Elba – Prom Night Damn it, I don't believe this. What is it? As Idris Elba transitioned from a strong TV career to major film roles, he appeared in the 2007 movies The Reaping and 28 Weeks Later. But the horror film we have to highlight was the 2008 remake Prom Night. Detective Wynn, Bridgeport PD. How are you? Doing fine, thanks. Have you seen this man tonight? No. Who is this guy anyway? Oh, it's just someone I'm looking for. Although this version dropped the great disco soundtrack of the 1980 original, it added Elba as a lead. The role of the grizzled or determined police veteran is often a thankless job. However, Elba gives Detective Wynn some heft and gravitas with his screen presence and no-nonsense demeanor. Oh, he's somewhere in this hotel because all the exit points are covered. 
Since Prom Night was not well received by critics, most Elba fans probably forget he carried the movie. And that's a shame. His strong performance made the character so much more than just your average flatfoot. Which one is she? She's the blonde on the back table. She's pretty. And alive. I don't want her to stay that way. Number six, Scarlett Johansson, Eight Legged Freaks. This horror comedy action movie was a fun and self aware parody of classic giant monster flicks. It featured Johansson as Ashley Parker, the daughter of a sheriff. No, oh, nothing. I, I just saw you staring at his butt when you handcuffed him, that's all. Uh, who told you that it's okay to talk to your mother like this? He's pretty cute for an old fogey kind of guy, you know? The ensemble of Johansson, Kari Wara, and David Arquette works well. Their bond holds the film together amidst all the crazy giant spider carnage. Ashley! It's pretty ironic that the actress who would go on to play a heroine named after a spider would star in a movie about villainous arachnids. But Johansson's roles in the MCU and beyond make it easy to forget that this cult horror classic is on her resume. It's really not that complicated. I got red in my ledger. I'd like to wipe it out. Number 5. Clint Eastwood – Revenge of the Creature Blink and you'll miss him, but there he is. Silver screen icon himself, Clint Eastwood. Well, maybe so, Doc, but there were four rats in there when I changed my lights. Now there's only three. He goes uncredited in this sequel to Creature from the Black Lagoon. Eastwood made his big screen debut as lab technician Jennings. Although he basically has nothing to do, it's clear even at this early stage that Clint has his signature stare down. How'd he get in here? Sure, Revenge of the Creature is far and away his least memorable role, and it doesn't showcase any of the skills or screen presence Eastwood honed over films like A Fistful of Dollars or Dirty Harry. But everyone has to start somewhere, right? Now you know why they call me Dirty Harry. Every dirty job that comes along. Number 4. John Travolta – The Devil's Reign Although the majority of moviegoers might not remember, horror fans may recall seeing John Travolta in the smash adaptation of Carrie from 1976. Yeah, that's what you like about me, right? I know that. Shit. No? No? But the first horror flick for the future Saturday Night Fever star was actually 1975's The Devil's Reign, where Travolta appears as a hooded figure. <laughs> Admittedly, he's barely recognisable in the brief scenes he appears in and gets no speaking lines. Know what did become memorable though? The cast made of William Shatner's face for this film, which was the basis for the mask famously worn by Michael Myers in Halloween. <laughs> Number 3. George Clooney – Return to Horror High I thought it was Oliver. Yeah, well, Oliver's over here, where he's supposed to be. Okay, so if George Clooney appears in a horror movie, he just has to be the heroic lead, right? Well, yes and no. Return to Horror High is a meta, movie within a movie sort of flick, where Clooney plays a lead actor. Unfortunately, he's offed early on, so don't expect him to come face to face with the crazed villain during the climax. Not to worry, however, because Clooney would show up in another horror flick, Return of the Killer Tomatoes, only a year later. Hey, Matt. Hey, Chad. How about a crest? Yeah, I gotta talk to you now. Here, yeah, you need this. Call us crazy, but we think now's just the perfect time for Clooney to mount a horror flick comeback. Be cool, Callie. Gonna be a star, Oliver? Thank you. Gonna try. Yeah. Number 2. Paul Rudd – Halloween – The Curse of Michael Myers I'm sorry, I, I don't know you, do I? I'm Tommy. Tommy Doyle. The Ant-Man actor fully embraced his portrayal of Tommy Doyle in Halloween – The Curse of Michael Myers. It's a role that's removed from the comedic and sci-fi roles he'd go on to perfect later in his career. That just makes it even more entertaining to go back and watch now that he's a household name. Rudd even manages to defeat the intimidating and almost otherworldly Myers by beating him with a pipe. With the franchise, 
franchise enjoying a resurgence lately, maybe Rudd can make a memorable cameo in a future Halloween film. Michael's work isn't done in Haddonfield, and soon, very soon, he'll come home to kill again. But this time I'll be ready. Before we name our number one pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Matthew McConaughey, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Let me ask you one question. Are you having fun here? Oh, God. Mila Kunis, American Psycho 2, All American Girl. Ribbed for her pleasure. Ava Mendez, Children of the Corn 5, Fields of Terror. What is your purpose? To reject the world of the aged before I reach the age of sin and to join he who walks behind the rose because Kurt is waiting there for me. Amy Adams, Psycho Beach Party. I'm Marvel Ann. I'm surprised you remember me. There was a lot going on that night. I mean, that girl getting her throat slashed and all. Jason Alexander, The Burning. Alfred, this is about to be the greatest moment in your life. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Leonardo DiCaprio, Critters 3. Joshua, front and center now. Joshua? Josh, please. More than a few Leo fans probably think that the acclaimed What's Eating Gilbert Grape was his first big screen appearance, but it was actually Critters 3. Johnny, you know better than that. You don't even know this guy. Hey, wait a minute. I don't know you either, okay? The third entry in the franchise took the creatures into the big city. It's here where we meet a young Leonardo DiCaprio as Josh, who lives in a dilapidated tenement building with his awful stepfather. Their routine is severely interrupted when the critters enter his life. Hey, what's the matter? They've got him, they're tearing him apart, they're killing him! They've got help! Since Josh isn't the central protagonist, it's easy to forget that DiCaprio appeared in this film at all. Fortunately, he rose far above his role in Critters 3 to become one of the most recognisable faces in Hollywood. And before you ask, no, he wasn't in Critters 4. So, uh, about getting together sometime and... Something normal. <laughs> normal like a movie? Yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.